You've maybe searched for them along the beach or bought one at the store. And the history of the Petoskey Stone, also our state stone, goes back millions of years. Coulter Stewart has this special report when Petoskey Stones lived. When walking on the beach in Michigan, it's not uncommon to find Michigan State Stone, the Petoskey Stone. It may come as a surprise to hear that they weren't always stones. 350 million years ago, Michigan was a much different place than it is today. This period of time was called the Devonian period. I wanted to learn more about this period, so I called Dr. Colleri and said, Hello, Dr. Colleri. Can you tell me a little bit about what life was like in the Devonian period? Yeah, life was very different in the Devonian period around here. There was actually a shallow sea at the time. It was very tropical. We were a lot closer to the equator than we are now, and pretty much everything was living in the ocean. This is way before dinosaurs. And then there were a lot of invertebrates living in the ocean, so corals and trilobites and sea star relatives and things like that. This was the strange world that a coral called Hexagonaria lived in. So Hexagonaria being a coral, it was part of a tropical coral reef environment. Um, so if you think of like the Bahamas, that's what it kind of would have been like, um, different types of corals, but very warm tropical waters. Through time, these Hexagonaria became fossils that we find today as Petoskey stones. The corals that would one day become our Petoskey stones lived in the same time period as real life monsters. The biggest predator at that time on Earth was Dunkleosteus. Apex predator, big scary bite, armored head, uh, bony eyeballs, it's all sorts of like strange. They were fast and mean. At a length of up to 20 feet and weighing more than a ton, makes it one of the largest and most powerful fish ever to live on Earth. Uh, I had one of the fastest bites of any animal that's ever lived, and it could bite down and crush bone. So it would have been able to feed on anything. Instead of teeth, it had massive blades that would rub together and sharpen themselves as the Dunkleosteus opened and closed its mouth. These would self-sharpen each other when they would open and close their jaws. But there's often like a shiny sheen area, oh, yeah. like right there, that's where they were actually like shooting against each other. So the next time you find a Petoskey stone, remember that it was once a coral living in a time when monsters swam the seas that would one day become Michigan. For 9 and 10 News, I'm Coulter Stewart.